it's Brady. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're brand new here, hi, hello, welcome. We are a family of four. It is myself, my husband, and our seven and three-year-old girls, plus a crazy dog, crazy busy life, just like everybody else. And I like to share my grocery hauls with you, my cooking videos with you, daily life stuff with you, things that I enjoy, all that good stuff. If that's your kind of thing, and if you, especially if you like big grocery hauls, um, we go to Sam's Club every couple of months and we really like to stock up, so those are usually pretty big hauls to watch. Um, if that's your kind of thing, I'd love for you to hit the subscribe button and stick around. And yeah, let's get into today's, to today's video. Okay, so um, I've got everything put out here behind me. I think everything that I got is actually on the table. I don't think there's anything that we got into or used or anything like that. Um, there is one thing that was a Target pickup that they were out of stock on, which is my shampoo. Yes, I had to look and see if it was the shampoo or the conditioner. The cool thing about Target drive up is if they're out of stock, they'll ship it to you for free um, if it's in stock in the warehouses. So that's what's coming with that, but everything else um, is on the table. Our total between the three stores, we are over budget <laughs> um, a little bit, but the total between, we're over budget, but it's okay. Next week, we're probably gonna make a smaller haul to, well, we'll see. I don't know, now that I say that, I don't know. Anyways, it's okay, it was sort of planned for, plus there's household stuff that's not in our grocery budget and Father's Day stuff that's not in our grocery budget. So. I'm going to share with you now what we got. I think our total was, hold on. I think between all three stores, Aldi, Kroger, and Target, including household stuff, groceries, stock up stuff, and um, Father's Day stuff, we are at about $250, um, which is well over our budget. However, uh, no, $270 which is definitely well over our budget, but like I said, there's a lot of things at play there. Whole nine yards. Let's stop yammering and get okay, into the So house. here is an overview of the table. Everything set up here. Yep, okay. So nothing is separated by store, but I'm gonna do my best to remember prices and to um, tell you where it was from, if it's not obvious. Um, so yeah. Okay, so we got three loofahs for me and the girls. My husband just really isn't using his, so I didn't get him a new one this time. If he changes his mind and would like a new one, then we'll go get him one. Um, but I got different colors this time than I normally do. These are each a dollar a piece um, from Kroger, and they do have the suction cup on them. Got a mint, a coral, and a like a light pink. Again, a dollar a piece. These, they didn't have any whole watermelon um, at Kroger today. I didn't even see it at Aldi either, which is really, really weird. But this was $1.85 for this package of cantaloupe. Again, I didn't see any cantaloupe either. They had honeydew, but we don't care for honeydew. Um, and then two packages of, this was all they had, of watermelon. And it was, it was like 89 cents a pound. So I think they were both like $1.80 a package. It wasn't a terrible deal. Two fifty for the leafy romaine. Um, this was kind of expensive. But this is a treat for my husband for Father's Day. I am cooking taco bake, which is one of his favorite meals. And I'll probably make some Mexican rice uh, to go with that. And then he wanted jalapeno poppers. So there's the jalapenos and cheesecake for dessert. So that's Father's Day dinner. Um, so that was $3.99. It was only $6 or something like that to get it um, at Kroger for like a whole cheesecake. But we're I don't eat it. He's the only one that likes it. And he didn't want a lot to have on hand. We didn't want to waste it. So $3.99. Um, I didn't see any, at all, see, any, see any at Aldi. That's where I normally pick up the two slices for $1.99. They didn't have it. So got it at Kroger. Um, movie night tomorrow night. So we got Skills. These are each like 99 cents each. Um, my husband's Hershey with almond. A Reese's cup, a Reese's cup and a plain Hershey. Two Monterey Jack cheese. These were the eight ounce blocks to shred up for tacos one night um, or just in salads. I'm actually going to be making myself some taco salads for lunch this week. 
and the Monterey Jack, well, all of the eight ounce bags and bo blocks of cheese at Kroger this week are $1.88. So we got two of those. Sour cream at Aldi was 89 cents. And now I'm curious. Okay, so this one just has cultured milk, non-fat dry milk, enzymes, and cream as well. No carrageenan. So that's pretty cool. I mean, it is cheaper than the Kroger brand. Um, caramel dip was $2.99 from Kroger. Um, I think these were $1.49 for the lemon shortbread cookies. These are from Aldi, the Benton's brand. I've never seen these at my Aldi before, so I picked them up because I love lemon cookies. And then $0.95 cents for the peanut butter filled cookies. These are like the Girl Scout tag -alongs. And I get those pretty much every time we go to Aldi, which is like every month or two. And then $3.39 for four sausage, egg, and cheese croissant breakfast sandwiches uh, to have in the freezer for my husband for weekend easy breakfasts. Uh, the private selection ice creams were $2.99, so I did get a Moose Tracks uh, for that one. And then I got three, yeah, there's a cherry mixed fruit over there, a yellow clean peaches, and then mandarin oranges. These are all four counts from Aldi of fruit cups, and they were $1.59 or $1.69, something like that, per four count. We were totally out of fruit cups, and even though we have lots of fresh fruit on hand still, the girls really enjoy fruit cups. So I got those. Um, this was for my husband for Father's Day. This will actually go in his little gift bag. It's like $1.29 or something like that for the iced lattes, uh, like the Frappuccino style things from Aldi, and my husband likes those. A uh, big pack of the 100% Colombian medium roast K-Cups from Kroger. This week, the 96 counts are $19.99 with a digital coupon. This is the last one they had. Now, for reference, I normally get the 48 count for $14.99 and consider, or, yeah, I think the, the 48 count is normally $14.99. So, that was a really good deal. We will be well set on coffee for a very long time. If you like medium roast, um, like the Colombian coffee, you should try the Kroger brand if you have a Kroger or Kroger affiliate in your area. This is my husband's favorite coffee by far, and he does drink it black. He doesn't add anything to it. Um, so yeah, try that out. $1.75 for the Berman's Real Mayonnaise. We find that's very comparable to Hellman's. It has become our favorite, that and the Target brand. $1.09 each for one beef broth and two cartons of chicken broth. 89 cents for some crispy taco shells. Those are from Aldi as well. These are also at Aldi, the Fruit Loops and the Frosted Flake cereal bars. My husband is enjoying taking those for his break at work. And um, I think they were $1.99 each at Aldi. So that was kind of cool. The family size uh, Apple Jacks was on sale $3.99 at Kroger. I had a dollar off one e-coupon. So we got that for $2.99. Crispix, I'm making uh, Crispix mix, so it was two nine, it was three ninety nine each, which is Crispix is outrageous, but it is what it is. It's the only place to get it. There's no store brand. I don't understand that. Why that's like the one cereal that no one has tried to recreate, but it is what it is. Um, the toasted oat cereal was a dollar fifty nine. This is just the Kroger brand of Cheerios. This is the Aldi brand Marshmallow and Stars. It was a dollar thirty nine, and what else? We got the Aldi brand Pop Tarts, the Toaster Tarts, brown sugar and cinnamon. Those are $1.59 a box as well. And what else? The salted roasted in shell peanuts are a dollar a pack for each pound at Kroger. I like snacking on those, so I got those. This was $2.99 for the four count of baking potatoes at Kroger. And then I got four jalapenos to make the jalapeno poppers. They were $1.19 a pound. And I would bet that was only like a quarter of a pound, if maybe a little over. $2.59 for this ginger stir and paste. Um, it would have been cheaper to buy just a piece of ginger. But honestly, uh, we don't use ginger all that often. And I thought this might be something good to keep in the fridge. And it would just be super easy. So we're going to do that. Uh, it says it's good for four weeks in the refrigerator once it is opened. So, we're going to try that out. 42 cents each for the tomato paste. That was from Aldi. This uh, chili paste was from Kroger. It was $1.99. Uh, 
$2.49 each for each of these salsa con quesos. That is for the taco bake. Cut green beans, two of those from Aldi, 47 cents each, as well as a can of corn was 47 cents at Aldi. The hoisin sauce was $1.79, no, $2.79 from Kroger, and a dollar for a hint water for myself, a dollar fifty-five for these pints of heavy whipping cream, which was an awesome deal. So we got that. Milo's tea from Aldi was a dollar, no, was two eighty-six. Two gallons of milk. For $2.69 each at Kroger. Uh, this bag is for Father's Day to go with the gifts that we just got in from Amazon. So we're going to get that together. And it was $1.50 from Target. Four chocolate almond milks from Aldi. They were $1.79 each. Uh, two, in, uh, two green bell peppers. I don't know why I couldn't think of that word. Um, $0.69 cents each at Kroger. $1.79 each for two heads of green leaf lettuce. Two English cucumbers from Kroger were $1.25 each. Two Honeycrisp apples, they were $2.29 a pound, so I just got myself two this week. I've got a couple left from last week. Eggs, the 18 count eggs from Kroger were 97 cents with a digital coupon. So I got two 18 counts, so three dozen total at 97 cents each. $2.99 for a two pound package of strawberries from Kroger. These look pretty good. And then the sodas across the, all the like Coke and Pepsi and all that were four for 10. So I did get two Pepsi, one Dr. Pepper's hiding back there and one Orange Crush, four for 10. I think it was $2.99 for the Mott's little apple juice bottles. I had to get our Gatorade from Kroger or from Target because Kroger didn't have any yet again. I do not know what's up with that. Our Kroger has not had great Gatorade in at least a month. Um, anyways, so it's $6.29 from Target. Behind this pizza stone, which we're going to talk about in a second, is a case of water from Kroger. Bottled water, $3.49 for the 32 count. $2.35 from Aldi for the heavy duty aluminum foil. That's for my husband as well, 89 cents for one of the Arizona green tea. This is $1.79, I believe, or $1.99 at Aldi. This for artisan French bread taken bake loaf is delicious. We're gonna have a pasta dish one night this week. We'll make that. This rectangular pizza and baking stone is $9.99 at Aldi. They do have a round one as well. Um, my Aldi only had the rectangle, which is fine. That was the one I was gonna get anyways. And I really like making homemade pizza on this. We had one years ago and I think it either, I think it broke, um, but it was like one of the pampered chef ones. So we're gonna see how we like this. It does have a good weight to it. So hopefully it is good quality. And that's the thing about Aldi is you can not only return it, but they'll also give you your money back um, and you can get another product or whatever you wanna do. Um, the chicken breast still rang up for $1.77 a pound at Kroger. So it was like $6, just under $6 for a family size pack of chicken breast. The bacon, this looks like an inordinate amount, but we're gonna freeze two, put one in the fridge. They were on sale for $5.99 each for this right brand bacon, which is normally $9 at Walmart or $11.99 at Kroger. So at $5.99 per package, that's a heck of a deal. So I got that and it was yeah, $5.99 with a digital coupon. I think you could get it up to five, but just for the budget's sake, I got three. And the Hostess Frosted Mini Donuts as a little treat for the girls this weekend was $1.99. I believe these were also $1.99, these yellow corn extra thin tortillas. And then this is for the Taco Bake, the small fajita 20 count flour tortillas from Aldi. They were $1.99. $1.49 for plain bagels. 79 cents for a loaf of white sandwich bread. Those were from Aldi as well. And then we got my husband a Father's Day card. I needed some lotion. So we're gonna try out this St. Ives Renewing Body Lotion with Collagen and Elastin. It was $3.99. This is $7.99 for the Not Your Mother's Naturals. I'm really, really liking this line of shampoo and conditioner. So I thought we would try a different scent. Um, before I got the apple and matcha tea, but this one is the Tahitian gardenia flower and mango butter curl defining conditioner. And again, like I told y'all at the beginning, 
they are having to mail uh, to ship my shampoo. So we did that. Um, I wanted to try this nighttime body wash with retinol from Olay. This was $7.99 from Target. All of this stuff right here is from Target. This was $4.99 for the three minute Miracle Curls deep conditioner for me and the girls. My husband needed just some unscented plain lotion, so that was $1.99 for the Up and Up brand. And then $1.99 as well for these basic cotton rounds, 100 count. $4.99 for some mousse. We're gonna try the Pantene this time. See how we like that. Uh, I believe this was also $2.99 for the Up and Up brand toner. So I got that. And uh, this is for my husband. I'm, just going to see if he likes it. It's the Kelp and Sea Mineral Face Wash, $5.99 from the Goodfellow brand at Target. And last but not least, I think this is like $1.99 or $1.49 for the Palmer's Coconut Oil Moisture Boost Protein Pack for myself. And try that hair treatment. Let me flip y'all over. Okay, so that's everything that I got today. Let me know where you're shopping. What are your plans this weekend? What are y'all up to? How are you doing? If you've never said hello before, again, please do that. Um, I really, really enjoy getting to talk with y'all in the comments. So until next time, that's where I'll see you in the comments down below. Bye-bye.